Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you've joined me here today on what's been quite a sort of grey but relatively warm day. Certainly not the temperatures, you know, the sort of blazing temperatures we had last week and, you know, bright blue skies. But um, yeah, a little bit grey, a little bit humid. But, you know, quite nice to be up here doing a few jobs and also picking a few things. We've got uh, some more blackberries here. I mean, I could have picked probably five or six times this, what's in this pot. Um, but they're going straight in the freezer because basically I've got so many of them at home from this, this bush, which goes pretty much all the way up the side here. Um, I <laughs> don't know what to do with them. So, and always very exciting too. We've got the first uh, harvest of the garlic there. So, yeah, some lovely... Uh, Probably about 10 bobs there. That's, um, that's about a third probably of what we've actually got planted in the bed just in front of me here. Um, and that keeps us going until in garlic. You know, we basically don't have to buy any garlic until almost this time next year. I think we ran out like April or May uh, this year. So yeah, I'll dig the rest of that up over the next couple of weeks. And uh, if I'm doing a video, then I'll show you. But uh, while that's all very interesting, um, you tuned in to hear about whiskey rather than what I've been up to here. And uh, what's the allotment dram today, I hear you ask? Well, it's another relatively new whiskey. It is the uh, Glenmorangie Triple Cask Reserve. So this is a, a new bottling from Glenmorangie. Goes into the core range at the beginning. So uh, what's happened with Glenmorangie this year is uh, quite exciting. They've um, basically revamped the very front of their their domestic core range um, so this started with the release of the triple cast reserve uh, there and uh, this goes in right at the beginning and then they also changed the uh, the original from a 10 year old to a 12 year old uh, even more recently so that's what the front of the the range looks like now so this triple cast reserve and then the original 12 year olds and then it goes into the uh, the finishes so the Quinta Ruben the La Santa and the Nectar Door then the 18 and the Signet and so on um, so that all stays the same at the back end but this front end we're now kicking off the range with this the uh, Glenmorangie uh, triple cast reserve and it, as the name suggests it's a marriage of three different cast types so you've got ex-bourbon cask, you've got new American oak casks, and you've got ex-rye whiskey casks. And this has been created by Gillian McDonald, who's the uh, master blender for Glenmorangie. And uh, it will be available initially in France, Germany, the UK, and the USA. And then later this year, it will get a full sort of world um, release. So pretty much anywhere you can get Glenmorangie, this will kick off the start of the range, the triple cast reserve. So what can I tell you quickly about Glenmorangie? A you know, very famous distillery, um, sits what, fourth in the uh, world sales for Scotch single malt, you know, only beaten by Glenfiddich, Glenlivet and Macallan. Uh, Glenmorangie is in fourth and then you've got Laphroaig in fifth. And uh, it was founded in 1843, right up in the North Highlands, the town of Tain. So about an hour north of Inverness. Very nice drive, sits right on the Dornock Firth there. So quite spectacular in terms of its location. And uh, they have the tallest stills uh, in the whole of the Scotch whisky industry in Scotland. Uh, just over five meters. I think it's about 14 and a half feet tall. Um, so yeah, spectacular location, but very spectacular uh, still room, arguably one of the best still rooms in the entirety of Scotland. It basically looks like a cathedral because you've got these big tall stills that basically look like pillars of a cathedral. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic place. Um, but uh, yeah, very famous brands. And as I say, quite a year of, of, of change for, for them. Uh, so, what else can I tell you about this Glenmorangie uh, Triple Cast Reserve? Well, uh, this is bottled at 40% and will cost you around £33, uh, something like that. So that, that's where the, the range now kicks off. So I think we should probably have a taste. It's probably quite enough chat actually. So um, let's, uh, let's put that 
down a second. Lovely colour, very sort of bright. Almost like a sort of golden, with a touch of sort of amber, like russety sort of amber, isn't it? Oh, very nice nose. Lots of apple. But it's like a cooked apple, actually. Like a stewed apple with some cinnamon, so... For, for those of you here in the UK, I think apple crumble, you know, where you have your cooked apple with some cinnamon and then you have almost like the, the crumble, almost like biscuity sort of thing on the top. There's a bit of ginger in there as well. A bit of milk chocolate. Very, very enticing nose. I think we should have a taste. Mmm. Yeah, that brightness really carries on well through the, the palette. So initially, you've got all this, a lot of this sort of cooked cinnamon spiced apple. You've got some milk chocolate again. There's a lovely sort of golden syrup. And then a lovely sort of underlying spice. And I'm guessing... It's coming from the combination of the new American oak and maybe the rye casks as well, the rye whiskey casks, because you've got uh, this ginger that I mentioned from the nose, uh, but also some, some nutmeg and some clove as well. So like a clove oil or, or something like that. But yeah, very, very nice. And I say quite bright and quite sort of you know, playing to Glamorange's strengths, you know, they make a, this lovely light sort of fruity spirits with these big tall stills, these five metre tall stills, uh, you know, so yeah, it's really allowing it, that combination of the three casks, it's really allowing it to shine, but let's have another taste. Mmm. There's still lots of that stewed apple golden syrup you could almost say maybe like um, fairground like toffee apple you know, these sort of apples that they dip in sort of toffee and then you get it on a stick but uh, yeah some orange now like some orange zest maybe like bitter orange zest a bit of cocoa as well but what, what's also interesting is I've got this sort of fruitiness this sort of appley fruitiness that I've spoken about but there's also now and again I don't know whether it's because of the combination of the casks but I'm getting some hints of like tropical notes so a bit of like tropical fruit like very ripe sort of pineapple maybe a bit of like fresh coconut as well but yeah very very good um, and really nice as like you know the start of a range which is where you know most people you know most consumers buy their whiskey. You know, whiskey geeks like me and maybe some of you, we go maybe higher up the, the range, but it's always good to come back to the beginning of a range and kind of find what the basis is for, for a distillery. So, you know, this and the new original 12 year old, which I reviewed here very recently, so look up that video as well. Um, yeah, both very good. and. It will be the two whiskies, this and the original 12 year old, that most people buy. So, um, very, very good and you know, really nice. Hats off to, to Gillian. I, I'll have to, next time I see her, I'll have to um, congratulate her on that because it's an absolutely delicious whiskey. But um, that's probably about it, you know, from myself and the Glen Morangy, uh the Triple Cast Reserve, we will probably bid you farewell. Um, let you get on with doing whatever you were doing before you happened upon this this video but yeah I think very good very good for like 30 odd pounds you know really really nice but yeah we'll let you get on now and uh, hopefully see you again soon for another allotment dram and uh, yeah cheers <laughs>